Hi everybody, it is Jess Johnny again. It is <clears throat> challenge giveaway time again. Just in time for the holidays. Um, there's going to be a couple of prizes. Let me give you the rules first. Um, first of all, you need to be a subby. You need to be 18 or older. Um, the first prize will be if you just leave a comment. And this is not actually the um, first prize. I will let the winner pick um, out of a couple different colors. Uh, pink, blue, um, some neutral colors, yellow. Um, let me think what I have. Yellow, pink, blue, yellow, uh, creams, whites. Um, Mm -hmm. Oh, and lavender. So the first place winner, or the first winner without having to do anything other than just leave a comment, be a subby, and be 18 or older, will get one of the 100% cotton washcloths that I make. And I will scallop the edges like the one if you have not watched the video I did. Uh, where I got some mail from uh, Glow Gloria, who is Crafty Cakes. I showed you a set that I made and sent to her where the edges are scalloped. I will scallop the edges of the washcloth. And then they will. you will also get one of the scrunchies. And these are so cool. And because they're cotton, they, you know, wash up really well. And I actually use them in the shower. And then I will actually make you a couple of flowers, probably three flowers, um, in coordinating. It'll all match. So all you need to do for that is just um, leave a comment. Be a subby. Okay. The second prize will be if... You, when you leave your comment, you tell me something um, about your favorite holiday, whether, I mean, your favorite Christmas holiday, whether it's a, just a great memory, a wonderful gift that you received, um, some wonderful food that you like to eat, um, something you've been able to share and bless someone else with. Just give me a little story about something about Christmas that Christmas that makes you happy. And the person, um, you know, I'll put your name in, and you will get these adorable little shoes. Now they're all a little different. <clears throat> I will bring this up closer. This one's like a, a Baroque cream with this lace coming out. This one is green, as you can see. This one's a pink, and this one is similar to this first one as far as the um, kind of fabric that is used. Okay, and I actually got these in the summertime um, from a lady who had a store, and as you can see, <clears throat> Maybe I'll turn it this way. This is what she was selling them for six dollars and ninety-five cents in her store. Anyway, I didn't pay that. I I don't remember what I paid, a um, dollar or two dollars a piece or something like that. I don't recall, but um, they are ador adorable. So if you are a shoe collector, and I know a lot of ladies do collect miniature shoes, uh, leave your comment a little bit more involved and tell me your favorite thing about the Christmas holiday. I will not be answering the comments um, because then it gets too confusing when I go to print them all out mixed in with my comments and your comments. So um, again, this will be for the people who leave a comment and um, expand on a little bit. Now I have two prizes for the people who are going to send in a challenge. And what I'd like you to do this time is make either a spoon or an altered cork or even a small altered thread spool. And you can have it so it hangs, so it stands. And you can do it in any style that shows your talents. If you like shabby chic, that's great. If you like vintage, that's wonderful. Um, if you like steampunk, I really don't have very much steampunk. If you want to base it on a holiday like Christmas or even um, Valentine's Day or Easter or red, white, and blue, whatever it is, if you send in your... Um, your object to me. There will be two winners. The first name I pick will get first choice 
and the second name I pick will get second choice. So let me turn around without further ado and show you what the prizes are. This one's quite heavy. Okay, let me get these out of here because these are so cute. This is just an old wooden box that I got in the summertime that's crackled and painted and just trimmed up a little bit. And um, here, let me show you the front. Here's the front of the box and the side. Actually, the sides are the same. And there's the back. The bottom, as you can see, it's all crackled. And it's got just a braided um, handle on it that is made out of muslin. Then inside of this are baby food jars. And I was going to um, actually do the outside of the jars. And then I decided, no, um, maybe whoever wanted them wants to be able to see inside the jars. So the first two jars are full of seam binding. This one has the darker colors. There's burgundy, dark blue, dark purple, greens. Um, this one's almost like a, um, a murky brown kind of a color. And they can see they're all decorated and painted. This one's mostly pastels. There is um, some beige, white, pink, you know, some blue, yellow. Just so cute. So that's two of them. This one is full of all different colors of eyelash trim. There's gold and white and purple, and lavender, uh, blue, pink, uh, iridescent colors, silver, and that's just stuff full with that. And then the last jar, I will pull this out so I can show you, is full of goodies. All right, there's all kinds of little embellishments in here. And most of these, um, hardly any of them are actually charms. These are flat-backed ones that you can glue on. You can see there's, um, let me pull this aside, there's Hello Kitty. Whoops, I hope I can get this all back in here. Whoops, and oh, there is a couple of beads, and there's the Chanel. Oh, there's a couple of these little hangers in there. There's some more of these slides. That's a butterfly. Anyway, this is chock full. So this will be one of the prizes for whoever decides to send in a project and, you know, message me for my address. Oh, I need to tell you, um, this ends on so that I have time to get this out to you bef before Christmas and you'll see when I show you the other prize why <clears throat> I need to have this all by um, December 15th so that I can get this shipped off to you. Okay. So that's that. Oops. Better screw this on tight. <laughs> So that would be one of the prizes for people who send an object in. And it is really, really, really cute and extremely heavy. And I hope um, someone would really like it because it's very cute. Okay, and then the other prize, and this is really cool. First of all, this is a bag that I've made. And hopefully you can see this is all Christmas fabric with angels and reindeer and snowmen and different little Christmas tree and the little mailbox and stuff. It is really, really cute. Let me see, that's the front. Okay, so when you open the bag up, you will get the bag, of course. The first thing that is in here is this adorable artichoke ornament, and it's a Christmas one with a bell done on a thread spool. Isn't that cute? I just love that. And then inside... <clears throat> is one of my pillows. And I actually made another one. I had one that I um, I sold and um, whoops, I have it upside down. <laughs> and um, it um, this is my favorite Christmas fabric block that I have in my store. So it is a beautiful fabric block and um, it's quite fat and stuffed. It is made out of muslin 
Um, there are some doilies from a vintage um, table runner. This was actually a table runner and then a beautiful flower and someone, I think Lisa made me this flower but you know it actually could have been Lisa or it could have been um, Leslie. So one of the girls made that beautiful flower and gifted it to me and I thought it would look pretty on the pillow and I think this is just pretty as can be. So um, again I, I need everybody to, um, the, the contest will end at midnight on December 15th. I will pick a winner either that night or first thing in the morning uh, so that I can get this mailed out and whoever gets this um, will have it in time for the Christmas holiday. This is open to everyone, even international. I will say if someone international wins, um, I will, uh, with that send stuff in, uh, the other prizes, if it's international, the first and second prize, no problem. But some of this bigger stuff is extremely pricey to um, ship. So what I will do, if the person is an international, I will give you a $15 gift certificate, and you can choose your online store that would let me get you a certificate. This way here, you can choose something yourself, because I don't want to exclude anyone. Okay, well, that's it. So remember, something... Um, um, if you want to be in for these two prizes, um, either an altered spoon or a or altered cork or um, an altered thread spoon in any gen um, thing you want, whatever it is, show your talents. Show me what you love and like. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Again, happy, happy, happy holidays if you celebrate this on Thursday. Um, I hope you all get plenty to eat, be kind to each other, remember no biting, no fighting, um, give somebody a hug, be well, pinkalicious hugs, ciao, ciao, ciao.